Exercise 11. In this exercise, we take a look at Creo's technology when it comes to sheet metal parts. This is a very easy part design. It's actually going to be a top-down uh, assembly model we'll be working with. And when we complete this, it will basically be a, a shroud that will protect this gear and pulley assembly. And when we're done, we should be able to flatten it out and get the flat pattern from this. So let's begin. Start by going to Open and opening the E11 assembly. Make sure you hit the zoom to fit or refit option. You can see that there's already a part in there. Um, what we're going to do is actually hide that part. So the cover that's showing up there, just right click on and hide that. And now we're going to bring our own part in here. So we go to create, and you can select new part, or if you want, you can even select sheet metal. Doesn't matter. Um, and hit, we'll go ahead and call this the E. 11 underscore cover hit OK and if you want to copy from existing part that's fine or empty either one is fine okay in this case the positioning we're just going to go with uh, default here and then we should see the E11 cover listed um, just hit the green check mark and now the E11 cover just right click on it and activate it you probably won't have this part 0004 in there. That's just a, a, an old part I have in here, so not to worry. You probably don't have that. Anyhow, you can see we have the assembly. What we're going to do is we're going to start by sketching on one of the end faces of a gear boss that's sticking out here. So go ahead and select like this end face here, or this one here, and hit sketch on the option there. Now we're going to go to offset, because we want to offset the edges of this uh, this, uh, casting that's in the rear and just by the thickness of the sheet metal so we're going to go with chain and you could zoom up and select this edge and this edge right here and if it needs to you could um, hit next until you see a preview all the outside edges and then once you have the, all that outside edge is green hit accept and just hit yes now the offset is going to be point well, normally it's 0.062, but if your arrow is pointing outward like this one is, it's got to be, um, actually no, that is right, 0.062. If it's pointing inward, you'd put a negative number in because we want to offset for the sheet metal thickness. Go ahead and hit the green check mark, and you can hit close here. Now let's go to OK and extrude that. Now we're going to extrude it up to a vertex, so right here, select this, extrude to select the point. It's like this back corner right here to extrude to. So you're extruding virtually over the entire model. And hit the green check mark to apply. At this point, we want to bring it into the sheet metal tools. And the way you do this is you go to operations, and you'll see convert to sheet metal. Now you'll have an option for driving surface or shell. We want to go with the shell option because this is a solid part. We want to shell it out. And the wall thicknesses are the same as our offset, 0.062. So it fits around the casting that's in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select um, the faces or surfaces to remove. So let's rotate this around. And I'm going to refit here a couple times. There we go. OK, we want to remove this face. And you'll see like a little grid pattern appear. That's good. Click on this top face. And I'm holding control when I select these, by the way. Hold control. And those three faces you want selected. And then this one on the back you want. So you have to rotate to get to that one. Holding control. Select that one to open. And then it should appear just like this. The two gears are at the top. There's an opening on the left. And the front and sides are open. And top. Go ahead and hit the... Uh, actually, you could go to options here. Um, actually, you just want to hit the green check mark. Hit apply. Okay, so essentially what we did was shell it out. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and turn it into a true sheet metal part where it could flatten. So we have to cut out edges that are connected. So for this, we have to go to Conversion. Click on the Conversion button. And under Options here, we're going to go ahead and select some edges to be cut out. And you can specify different options here as well. Uh, under Ben Allowance, 
Let's go specify by the k factor of 0.032. And options here, and then let's go ahead and click on edge rip and define those two edges that we pre-selected. If not, you could go ahead and select them. And you notice it's going to put in the bend radiuses in the lower corners here. Go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply. And it's going by the thickness to the inside. Green check mark again. And if you rotate, you should see it notched out those edges there. So it literally ripped that corner. Now we want to be able to flatten this out. Uh, we could continue on and actually put some holes in. Actually, let's do that first. Uh, let's go to Sketch and select this face here. Start our sketch. And what we're going to do is we're going to steal, again using the Project tool, and steal some edges here. We'll go with Chain, like that. Yes. Take this one too. Yes. And then this one here. Yes. Now we can hit the green check mark, and we want to extrude that, and we're going to flip it so it removes that material, and we have the ability to um, just select through all. Be careful if you have sheet metal wrapping back on itself, uh, it could cut through all the holes, so you want to be careful maybe not to do that, you might want to put an explicit value. But go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply. So now we have some holes there for the bosses that uh, are going to extrude past that. And then now we could go ahead and generate our flat pattern. Click on flat pattern. It automatically takes this and gives you different previews. So if this was the fixed face, it would unfold as you see there. Or you could click on this as your fixed face and see how it unfolds those two. Or click on this as your fixed face. I'm going to go ahead and click on this bottom surface is my fixed face. But you could really optimize this to figure out what's the best method of uh, unfolding so you're not wasting as much material when it gets nested and trimmed away. And hit the green check mark. Okay. And that is pretty much how you create your flat pattern. You could then bring that to a drawing and, and export as DXF or whatever you want. In this case uh, you could see this in the feature tree. If you can't see it in the feature tree, hit the little button up here, tree filters, makes your features, displays, turn on, and you can always suppress the flat pattern, bring it back up. And that completes this exercise.